this video is a bit of a roundup of the day really and I'm privileged to be sitting here with a nice cup of tea and a rhubarb muffin and this is the view from my from our summer house which we hardly ever come up here and sit in so I decided I would uh, I wanted to put a bit at the front of the video to explain that where the, the video of the bird feeder and uh, the birds that you see are wax eyes and sparrows that's probably obvious to most there is some of the video where there are other birds that you can hear in the background there are tuis and starlings uh, at one point I heard a Californian quail who I think is living just part way down our driveway I've heard him several times over the last few days and there may have even been a grey warbler in there I can't remember I know I've heard one today but that was when we were out for a walk but I can't remember whether I heard one at home as well or not but anyway I'll put little captions in the video when those birds are heard and very seldom do you actually get to see a grey warbler you usually hear them uh, a bit like shining cuckoos really they're the same uh, and the tuis i will get some footage of tuis uh, the, the big kofi tree out by the bird feeder there is hasn't started flowering yet the smaller one has and the tuis have been in there but not in the abundance that they will be soon so this is really just a a bit of a uh, heads up of what's in the video and we also went for a walk so you'll get some of that as well where we met a, a very very friendly little puppy uh, who was quite special so you'll see that later I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea and rhubarb muffin and I'll see you next time good morning all it is Sunday the 22nd of August and yes, there is more blue sky behind me and in front of me everywhere. Yesterday, I refilled what is basically most of a coconut shell with some lard and bird seed and hung it back up. And so the sparrows and the wax eyes are all having a good feed. So I thought I'd try and capture some of that on video for you. So let's see how this goes.
Today, Kathy and I decided that seeing her vehicle needed petrol before she goes to work tomorrow, that our lockdown walk would be a little further from home, but not too far. So we're down by the Karami stream and Kathy's down there waiting for me. So we're going to go for a walk along here. We came down the other side and now we're walking back to the car which is packed up by Mary Doyle. Some of the deciduous trees have started to sprout already, but not these ones, which look amazing against the blue sky. So, more trees, and over here, hopefully you can see it, if I stop still, there's a cormorant sitting right high up in the tree. Just about, can I get this with this? Just there. There were two of them when we were on the other side. One's obviously gone somewhere else. That's it, honey. I'm going to try and, without stepping in the puddles, get some of the fan tail. Oh, ran away. I just realised that from this side, there are actually two up there. Two cormorants, or shags, depending on what do you want to call them. Interaction. <laughs> so, this little fella we met on our walk, and he is gorgeous. He's half beagle and half foxy. And she, you are just beautiful. I swear you'd go home with anyone. Yeah. <laughs> He's definitely not um, a guard dog in any way. Now we're back at the Havelock Road roundabout. Things are looking lovely. And also the rosemary over here. But what I really came over here for, excuse the traffic noise behind me, was the cherries. Powering cherries. Some have been out for quite a few weeks. I don't know whether you can see them or not. Maybe you're up in amongst all of that. And you probably can't hear me anyway. 